All right, so this is my December 27th, 2022, watching the World Burn Report. <clears throat> so, uh, the um, man, I haven't been out of my house for three days. <laughs> I mean, it's just, a, even here in Florida, I mean, I'm not used to this cold weather, but today I got to go out and we'll get into that. I'm going to get into some things that can help you. I don't want to just report on the news. I want to give you some tips on things that I think you can be doing, and we'll talk about some future videos. So let's get into the main story of the day. I want you to pick out in this story the things that you think are most important, and then I'm going to talk about it in just a second. It's fired something like 100 shots at the drones, but they weren't able to bring them down. They lost uh, track of them. The South Koreans even crashed one of their own aircrafts in an attempt to bring down those drones. Their pilots are said to be safe after that crash. And this morning, the South Koreans also launched their own reconnaissance missions of drones into North Korea saying that it was a corresponding mission, which seems to suggest that the North Korean drones were also on a surveillance mission uh, in the South. Kristen, this is the first time they've la launched drones into South Korea since 2017, and the South... Okay, so as you see things escalate all around the world, I just wanted to point out what was most significant here was these five drones now, supposedly, we've given South Korea some of our best air defenses. So five slow-moving drones comes over from North Korea. Uh, they, they launched, a, now this is the most significant part of the story. They launched a helicopter, and they launched, a, well, a couple of helicopters, I believe, and they launched a fighter jet. So what was the end result? Well, the helicopters were unable to shoot down the drones, and the plane crashed. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then the drones just flew around for hours doing reconnaissance all over South Korea. One of them got real close to uh, Seoul. The other one was on the, uh, the coast there. So are we seeing uh, preparations for maybe another uh, uh, outbreak of conflict in North Korea? This is what happens when you elect Democrats and when you don't pay attention to your vote. Okay, once you get idiots in charge of the country, I mean, the whole world goes to hell in a handbasket. But anyway, that's just my opinion. And, of course, neocon Republicans. Um, so then we had, uh, and I'll try, I might put up another video uh, with some um, uh, commentary on, on some of these. Uh, four Ukrainians were arrested at the border uh, with explosives. Uh, the Russians say that they were heading in to, to, to do some sabotage in, inside Russia. Um, the, uh, we've got uh, looting, uh, massive looting going on in Buffalo right now. So as things deteriorate, what you're going to see, you know, as, as natural disasters or uh, economic crash, the stock market crash that's coming, the real estate market crash, these things are going to happen a lot more often. People are going to lose their minds um, anyway. And so this so massive looting taking place in Buffalo right now. Maybe I can get a story on that. Um, we got the death toll has gone up. I imagine it's much higher than this, but they're only reporting on 27 people dead. Uh, and this is just in New York um, from the deep freeze. Um, so that's, that's depressing. Um, and then this, this is why you got idiots in charge. They want to increase the amount of ethanol and fuel to save, but that's a 20, you understand that it, it, it takes more energy to make ethanol than it does to just get the oil out of the ground and, and make regular gas. So this is actually going to increase the cost of your gas prices. And plus ethanol is not good for your, your car engine, but we've got idiots in charge of the country. Um, so this is what you get. When you vote Democrat. All right. So then we got, um, well, silver. My God, I was hoping that I was going to get to report on another drop in the silver price towards the end of the year here. Um, and it's gone up. I mean, I, it, right now the futures are up like 40 cents. So it's, it's well over $24. It's approaching 25. Daggone it. I wanted to, to, to get some more of it, but I don't think that we're going to get a shot at it unless you want to buy at these high prices because that doesn't account for the premium, which is probably going to, the premium is probably going to go over 30 here shortly. I don't know. Um, and then, of course, the uh, farmers are reporting that the uh, wheat crop uh, is, is decimated. The winter wheat crop uh, has been destroyed by the uh, the uh, Arctic blast here. By the way, it's a good thing we got global warming, don't you think? I'm so glad that there's global warming in the planet. Um, so what do you want to do about all of this? I just wanted to, to give you some, some things to think about. Well, uh, the first thing was uh, I wanted to hit you with a profound statement. To know God is to know love. To know God is to know love. All right. 
And I, you know, somebody, they were saying, well, man, you're just all alone, you know, and I am pretty much all alone. I have very few friends, you know, because everybody says that I'm a political uh, right-wing lunatic, right-wing lunatic, you know, so it's hard for me to be around people. Uh, but that's okay, because I know God and I know love. And uh, I will be getting out much more. And I did want to tell you, see, being all alone, you do have to think about some things. And you probably should think about this for yourself anyway. I'm going to be setting up a foundation so that when I die, all of my belongings will get distributed the way that I want them to go. And that's a living trust. So you're going to have, I got to have a foundation, the, uh, the that cybersecurity guy foundation. And then the money when I die will all go to the foundation. And then that foundation will distribute the money according to uh, my wishes in the uh, living trust. Just a little tidbit. And we'll, we'll, I'll do some videos on how to do all of that once I figure it all out. I'm still learning as I go. Uh, so a couple of things that you're going to want to do as uh, things deteriorate here is uh, definitely stage uh, weapons around the house. Um, I know that, you know, if you've got kids, uh, you can't very well put a loaded gun <laughs> by the front door, you know. Uh, that would be unwise, let's just say. But you can put a baseball bat by the front door. I don't think the kids are going to pick up the baseball bat and start breaking things in the house. Now, I don't know your kids. I mean, they, they, they might, you know. I mean, we did some really stupid stuff when I was young. Um, but uh, so that's, you know, that's something to think about. So at my house, you know, I've got knives by the doors, you know, so that if somebody does come in, I can get to a weapon uh, fairly quickly. Uh, and, and deal with the intruder. Um, so that's that's one thing that you can do. I was checking on the prices. Oh, dang, gonna, I was going to show you a mountain house meal, but you can go, uh, I'll do it in the next video. Um, I checked on the prices of mountain house. Uh, beef stroganoff right now is still only $10.95, and that's two meals. Now, that's expensive. You can buy these kits at 4 I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or fashion. I just hear them advertise. I don't know anything about their food, whether it's any good or not. Uh, the thing I don't like about those kits, it seems to me, is once you open them up, you know, you've, you've, you've destroyed the shelf life. Whereas with these Mountain House, and I like the Mountain House because, well, I'll show you. It just comes in a pouch. You just add boiling water, and, uh, and then you got two meals right there. And they, and they last uh, 25 years, I think. So there's got a 25-year shelf life. So I'm actually, uh, you know, when I, when I do these uh, videos, it does spur me along <laughs> to, to get, get more. I mean, I, I'm pretty well prepped here at my house uh, here in Florida, but I mean, I keep adding to my preps, you know, and I do have a, a couple of, I've got some backpack water filters. Maybe I'll show you how to use those. And then I've got another big water filter that you just dump a mud puddle into and it filters the water and you can drink it. I've never used it because I was going to use it when I went camping, but I couldn't, I couldn't go camping after I broke my neck. Um, so that's it. That's my watching the world burn uh, video today. But the, the most significant thing that I took out of that story was the fact that the South Koreans couldn't shoot down the drones. These are just drones. Now, if you can't hit a drone, you certainly can't hit a missile, right? And oh, the other thing was there was an attack on the, uh, there's another drone attack. And this is, a, this is a testament to the Russians. I'm surprised they can't shoot down the drones. But there was another drone attack on the uh, nuclear triad in Russia at their, uh, their main uh, air base where they've got the strategic bombers. So that's not good. You know, you keep poking the bear and poking the bear. Uh, but anyway, the, uh, the war should be over here pretty soon. I, that's my, my gut feeling because I think the Russians are going to be coming across in massive numbers with massive amounts of equipment. Uh, it's still going to be a slow grind. Uh, they don't want to lose too many soldiers, so they're going to just grind. Gr well, I hate, I'm not trying to be... Man, and, and by the way, you get conflicting information, and I've done that in previous videos. You, you don't know, maybe the Ukrainians are grinding up the Russians, but everything that I'm seeing, and Colonel McGregor, his assessment of the war, is that the Russians are just going to grind the what's left of the Ukrainian uh, military into oblivion, and then that war will hopefully be over unless you get 300,000 uh, Poles that want to storm across the border with the Romanians. And of course, I imagine American troops would then be with them. But you're not going to, I mean, we're not prepared for that. I mean, Russia has been, they've been beefing up their military for quite some time. You know, for us to, to, to go to all out war like that, you know, like with World War II, it takes a long time. I mean, when you think about it, we were completely unprepared for World War II. Uh, and it took us a long time to, to, to convert our uh, manufacturing industry and everything over to manu... Plus, we can't afford it. We're $31 trillion in debt. I mean, 
Of course, you know, Congress wouldn't know that, and the neocon Republicans or the rhinos, you know, they just voted in that $1.47 trillion budget. Uh, we got idiots running the country for sure. And, and, you know, and by the way, all that money going to Ukraine, that's, it's not going to go to Ukraine. It's going to go to your military industrial complex, and any money that does get, get, go to Ukraine is going to get laundered, and a lot of that money is going to come back to the Democrats. And uh, so, you, the, you know, you got Obama living at Martha's Vineyard, and, uh, you know, you got Joe Biden with his uh, multiple man in Delaware, you know, so the, the Democrats will keep enriching themselves and, and the rhinos to a certain degree. Although, I ne you know, I never see too many reports on Republicans with a mansion at Martha's Vineyard. I think the grifting in the Democrat Party goes on uh, to a much greater extent, I believe, than in, in the um, Republicans. What's your opinion on that? Do you think that the rhino Republicans do more grifting or the Democrats? I'd like I'd like to have an opinion on that. I, it just seems to me, because every Democrat I know, especially like Nancy Pelosi, she's got her own armed security. I, I think she's worth like, what, $200 million now? How do you get $200 million just on your salary at the, in the federal government? You know, but this is this is what people vote for. I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. Um, just seems to me that this whole thing's coming to a head here in 2023. I, it's, this is going to be a big year. But I'll see, I'll see if I can get you another story or at least another slant on some of these uh, things that I just reported on. Um, some of them are unverified by me. Uh, I think, we've, well, we've definitely verified the Korean story anyway. All right, so that's it. Uh, that's my December 27th watching the world burn. And it's good, good, good to live in the free, free, free state of Florida. Peace out.